part 9, the lowest common multiple. You will find this on page 13 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's first go through the theory. The lowest common multiple of two or more numbers is the smallest natural number that is a multiple of each number. There are different methods of finding the lowest common multiple. If the numbers are not too big, the easiest method is the listing method. I think it's also the method that you did in primary school. For example, if we want to find the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8, we will first list the multiples of 6 and 8. I like to show my students like this. Lowest common multiple. So this M stands for multiple. So as I showed you in part 1, you will first just list the multiples of 6. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. So first list then the multiples of 8. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80. Now this C stands for common now let's see what numbers will be common. It will be 24 and it will be 48. But I must list the, the lowest one. So which one will be the lowest one? 24 will be the lowest. So the smallest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. Therefore, the lowest common multiple of 6 and 8 is 24. Now, if the numbers become too big, or there are too many multiples, a more efficient method to use is the prime factorization method. Let's look at example 7. Find the lowest common multiple of 60 and 72. So, break it up into prime factors. Write down the product of the prime factors. Then do exactly the same. Write 60 and write it in factor form. Write 72 and write it also in factor form. Try to write the same numbers underneath each other. And now you are taking all the pairs, full pairs as well as half of the pairs. And you are just write down all that factors, all the factors. And if you multiply it, you will get 360. If you want to do the index notation, you will write it in index notation. Write down that prime factors in index notation. And now this is very important. You write down all the different bases and you use the higher index. So you will write these twos, these threes, these fives, and I look for the biggest index. So it's not two, but it's three. It's not one, but it's two. And I'm just listing that. And then I just multiply everything together and I will come to an answer of 360. I want you to pause the video and I want you to do for me number E. And then you can continue with the video. Okay, let's do number E. So take 105 and take 150. And break it up into the product of prime factors. So... It two, it's ending on an odd number, so it's not divisible by 2. So let's move on to 3, because 5 plus 1 is 6. And then the whole number will be divisible by 3. So if I say 105 divided by 3, I get 35. Let's test for 3. 5 plus 3, that's 8. It's not divisible by 3, so we continue to 5. And then I will get 7, and then it's 7, and it's 1. Let's do the same with 150. So, it's ending on 0, so we can start with 2. Then we get 75. 7 plus 5 is 12, so it will be divisible by 3. And what will I get? 25. And then I, I will go for 5, and I will get 5, and I will take again 5, and I will get 1. So basically, if I take my numbers 105, and I take my number 150, and I write 3, times 5 times 7. 
and I do the same here, it's 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. So if I look at what columns I have, I have a column of 2, I have a column of 3, I have a column of 5, another column of 5, and I have a column of 7. So I will go and say that the lowest common multiple will be 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. And it will give me the big number of 1050. I can also try the index notation. So if I go and I take again 105, and it will just be 3 times 5 times 7. And I take 150 and I write it in index notation. So it will be 2 times 3 times 5 to the power of 2. So if I'm going to write down the lowest common multiple, look, write down all the different bases. So write all the bases. I see 2s. I see a base of 3. I see a base of 5 as well as a base of 7. And I write the biggest index. So let's look at 2. There's just 1. Let's look at 3. It's just 1. But let's look at 5. Can you see the biggest exponent will be 2 and then 7. Then press this on your calculator and you will also get 1050.